Do you feel like you're wasting time trying to figure out what to study rather than actually studying? Well, I help aspiring professional engineers like you to become sure that you'll pass the PE exam on the first try. And this is the series where every day I give you one insight, one rule of thumb, one key distinction, or one fundamental idea so that little by little you can get clear on what matters and how to focus your valuable time and energy. In today's daily insight, we're talking about the high temperature psychrometric chart. And we haven't talked very much about the regular psychrometric chart yet, which has a shape that's more like this with kind of a gentle slope for the saturation curve. Whereas the high temperature chart has this really aggressive, almost vertical slope for the saturation curve. But the main thing that I want you to know about the high temperature psychrometric chart is that it exists. So imagine you're being asked to find the humidity ratio along the vertical axis here, or the enthalpy, or the wet bulb temperature, or the dew point of air that's at some very high temperature, maybe 150 degrees or 200 degrees. There may be a workaround, but it could be convoluted and uh, challenging to figure out how to come at that. Whereas if you are aware that this chart exists, you can just come directly into it. And even for very high temperature values, you can look it up here. So that is the main takeaway for this problem. And don't worry, we'll get plenty of practice on the regular psychrometric chart. We'll go through all the principles and fundamentals there in separate videos. But as we're getting the lay of the land, I want you to know what's out there. So that's a quick introduction to the high temperature psychrometric chart. All right, guys, I hope this video was useful. When you're ready to start putting these ideas into practice, head over to mechanicalpeexamprep.com. There are tons of original practice problems with detailed video solutions that are easy to watch. And the course previews are free, so go check it out. And until next time, happy studying.